dear students i welcome you all back i am your teacher sham panchal from takshila model senior secondary school so uh, students today i'm back here with another chapter of english composition uh last time the chapter that we discussed in this class was actually short story writing right yes and today we are going to discuss another topic that is entitled as paragraph writing so students this is going to be very interesting topic right so you just need to be attentive to the explanation of this topic right i will just explain how we actually write paragraph writing so our uh, students before we just move on to the explanation of paragraph writing i just want to know uh if you just know what is a paragraph can you tell me what a paragraph is a paragraph is actually a short composition it is a short piece of writing which consists of a number of uh sentences right it consists of what a number of sentences written on a single idea written on one topic or one idea right actually uh, in previous classes we have already studied other aspects of writing such as story writing article writing right and uh, there is uh, story writing article writing yes there is letter writing as well we have studied right so when we just sit down to write these sorts of writing what we actually do uh, in order to you know make our write up quite easier for the readers consumption right consumption what we actually do we just break our write up into subsequent paragraphs breaking up of our write up into subsequent paragraph actually makes it quite easier for the readers to understand it and each paragraph has actually uh, to convey a, uh, to convey an, a complete you know uh, idea right means each paragraph has a complete set of information when you just move on to another paragraph the another paragraph has another set of instructions right or another set of information right so simply uh, the thing is each paragraph in a write up has a particular theme has a particular idea to be conveyed right that is the topic here we have just taken what a single paragraph out of a write up is that clear means uh, when we just write a letter we break our uh, letter into three paragraphs we have just uh, you know discussed it uh, in our previous classes uh, first one is uh, your opening uh, paragraph then there is your uh, middle paragraph in which you just tell how actually things happen right and uh, the details that you are going to just mention or the things that you just want to tell somebody to whom you are actually writing a letter and then there comes the concluding part the concluding part uh, in that part if you are just writing a letter of complaint right so you just request the person to uh, just help you with the solution of the problem right so uh, this is uh, what we actually do uh, do we just break our write up into subsequent paragraphs but here in this lecture in this class today we are going to read what about paragraph writing so paragraph writing has to convey a single idea right how it uh, it actually conveys a single idea so now just take a look what i have written on board you can see there is components of paragraph first of all that we should discuss in this class today right components of paragraph means parts of paragraph simply components here means parts of paragraph right students so uh, first of all there are three important parts right uh which are in front of us whenever we just sit down to write a piece of paragraph so uh it is quite important it is quite necessary uh for us to understand these three uh components these three parts of paragraph writing right so first of all the first part that we should know about is topic sentence what is a topic sentence students a paragraph uh actually uh consists of these three points right so these three points actually convey uh, the theme of the paragraph right means uh when these three points are just combined together we get what we get a complete paragraph so first of all what is a topic sentence a topic sentence is actually the opening sentence of a paragraph writing right of a piece of paragraph writing we can say 
it is what is meant it is actually the opening sentence right and this opening sentence has the main idea on which we are going to write the paragraph is that clear so this topic sentence has what students it has main idea it has main topic right uh, actually uh, when we just write story what we just do we just give the story a title right similarly when we just write paragraph we just give our paragraph a title uh, for example you can see here i have just written child labor this is actually the topic of a uh, paragraph right that i will just tell you how to write this is the topic this is going to be the topic of the paragraph for example right example this is an example question that i will just tell you at the end of the explanation of paragraph writing so uh, here topic sentence actually conveys the main topic main idea right so your opening sentence actually tells what your main idea what uh, your main theme on which you are just going to write your paragraph on is so this just tells you about the main topic main idea when just somebody especially the reader when just takes a look at the topic of uh, the paragraph writing he or she just comes to know that the supporting sentences will be strictly or will strictly be based on what on the main idea that is conveyed through the topic sentence of the paragraph topic sentence main main topic that simply means you can just consider this point number 1 as uh, this child labor so this child labor is both uh, the topic sentence and the main topic for the paragraph writing is that clear then there comes the supporting sentences okay your topic sentence can either be what your topic sentence can either be a phrase or it can be a sentence here the example i have taken child labor is actually what child labor is actually a group of words right that makes sense but not completely and hence uh, we will just call it what a phrase right so this is a group of words only so we can say honesty is the best policy when we say honesty is the best policy this can also be the topic of a paragraph writing and it becomes what it becomes a sentence so uh, we here just sum up this thing summarize this thing right we say topic sentence actually conveys the main topic or the main idea and it can either be a phrase or a sentence is that clear students now and this is only either a phrase or a sentence only one and when you are just moving on to the second part of paragraph writing that is called the supporting sentences you just need to do what we just need to leave some space right and then you should begin writing what the supporting sentences now what are supporting sentences supporting sentences here simply means uh, a number of sentences which just support the main idea which is conveyed through the topic sentence means supporting sentences are a number of sentences which support the main idea or main topic which is conveyed through the topic sentence right so this these uh, sentences are called supporting sentences now here i just want you to uh, lend me your ears i just want to tell you one most important thing and that thing is that how can we actually write supporting sentences because supporting sentences are the sentences which will uh, you know uh, just uh, form a uh, body of your paragraph right they will just form what body of your paragraph means these will be the uh, body of the paragraph these sentences will form the body of the paragraph there comes first the topic uh, sentence this one is topic sentence for so this example that i have taken here then this one is actually the concluding sentence right so this is actually you can uh, call this the body of the paragraph so your supporting sentences will frame or will form what the body of the paragraph right so now here just we need to pay attention to supporting sentences supporting sentences actually follow the main idea which is conveyed through the topic sentence or uh, main topic your main topic is child labor that simply means all those sentences that we are going to write in the body of the paragraph right this is we can call what body of paragraph so all those sentences which are going to be written right uh, in the body of the paragraph must follow the idea must follow the topic sentence right or must follow the idea conveyed through the topic sentence right for example here 
child labor i have taken the topic of this uh, paragraph right and here i have just made few points for the body of the paragraph right uh, including the topic sentence and the concluding sentence so i have written few points right so i also suggest you to write down few points right uh, which are later on to be expanded into full complete sentences right why uh, am i just asking you to write these uh, you know sentences i mean write these points here because uh, what actually happens when we just sit down to write a piece of paragraph story article what actually happens that we do not have the ideas in hand right and we do not have if we have ideas uh, we are not so sure in which order should we put those ideas so that they can make complete sense right and they just might not confuse the readers so uh, in order to avoid this confusion right which arises out of using uh, sentences in uh, lack of coherence right uh which is lack coherence so what we just need to do we just need to write the points uh on a piece of paper uh especially you can just write uh, these points somewhere where you just do the rough work we can say right so these small points will actually give you the hint uh on how to write the paragraph I means these points will later on to be expanded by you into whole sentences for example child labor gifts of god so we just need to do what this is one point right for the body in the paragraph gifts of god we just need to tell uh, that children are actually considered to be the gifts of god means they are quite uh, they are uh, loved by the god as well as human beings right so like uh, this way you just need to expand these points into complete sentences then there is forced to do manual work now we can say however uh, we are uh, we just come to know that uh, uh children those those children who are just considered to be the face of god right they are actually forced by the human beings right uh to do what to do manual labor especially at that period of time at that period of their age when they should just go to schools right instead of going to school they just go where they just go to small farms small uh, you know stalls right or in small companies to work to earn some money right and uh, then uh, you can see there is another point causes poverty so what actually forces these children to uh, go to these companies to work right uh, it is due to poverty right their family is actually uh, you know suffering from poverty and this poverty actually inclines uh, their parents to send them to factories to work somewhere right then their future is blurred you can simply say those children uh, who uh when they have the age to go to schools right uh, rather than rather than that they are going where they are going to the companies to the firms to do work right so this way they are just doing work they are just ruining uh their career themselves right or uh, they are their career is just going to be destroyed right simply so their future also becomes what blurred right their future becomes totally brightless right It means there is no brightness in their future right now we have uh next point government's plans and policies once you have written all these things in your paragraph then you need to tell how actually government has taken uh action right government has taken some initiatives and what plans and strategies they have just actually made uh for the upliftment of the you know children especially those children who are just you know thrown into the pit of child labor right so this is how you just need to expand these points and finally there comes what finally comes the concluding sentence what does actually concluding sentence say your concluding sentence actually concludes the uh, idea which is expressed in the supporting sentences as well as in the topic sentence whatever you are just going to write about in your paragraph this last sentence right actually sums that thing up right uh as a whole for example child labor as an evil and its eradication you just need to tell how as we have discussed above we can simply say that child labor is an evil right and it must be eradicated from the society right so their uh, present should be better so that their future can also be better right so this is how we just summarize we just sum up uh what our paragraph in the last that is called the concluding sentence right so our uh, students we here come to know that when we just keep these three points in our mind 
what actually happens that we are able to write a good piece of paragraph writing right so here you just need to do what in the body of uh, while, while writing the body of the paragraph you must be having some points in uh, hand in advance right with you so that when you just sit down to write you must not be confused about what you should write now and what you should write next right so uh, students here I have just taken one example that is the child labor these are the points which are to be expanded right into whole sentences then there comes the concluding paragraph uh, sorry concluding sentence right so this is how we are now able to write a good right uh, meaningful paragraph is that clear students so here one more thing you just need to pay attention to right uh, there is no uh, there is no particular format of writing a paragraph but you just need to keep these three points in mind right so first there comes the topic that is that can uh, also be a sentence right or a phrase so this is called your topic then leave some space and then you start writing uh, your body of the paragraph and it should be uh, what written in a single paragraph no uh, breakup no subsequent breakup of uh, paragraphs right so it is a par it is simply a paragraph uh, it is simply paragraph writing so we must not break it into other paragraphs right this becomes a single paragraph then there comes a last sentence that is actually called the concluding sentence right uh, apart from that uh, I have just sent you the PDF file right in that PDF file you will be having the detailed explanation uh, in the same way I uh, as I have explained uh, it to you here right secondly you will be having what you will be having two uh, practice questions right one uh, there is one solved question of which you will get the answer also and then you will be having two solved questions you, oh, sorry two unsolved questions not solved unsolved questions so you just need to attempt these two unsolved questions and once you have just written the answers you just need to reread them carefully right uh, so that you can just uh, you know confirm it that you have made no mistake in it right so students with this I just come to an end uh, now right and uh, very soon I'll be back with a new chapter for you and probably that is going to be another topic of composition right so till then be happy keep smiling thank you very much for watching this